My name is Dong Lin Shen from EJL Wireless. We are a consulting firm to the industry uh, analytics. Yeah. So uh, we have been uh, since as you get involved, and with NFV, it has been six years. That's uh, 2012. And how much we have achieved? We got a lot of new concept ideas, but you know, we still have a long way to go. Yeah. Um, what do we have on this area? It's everything promised from NFV. But how can we achieve that? And there's still a lot of issues outstanding. But we have to remember the important thing for NFV is really reprogramming. Yeah. Uh, the reprogramming is the most important thing. It, it's the key. We know is we have the mobile phone. CPU there, we have uh, FPGA, we have the computer and reprogramming. Then the basically you can do different things. And NFV, fundamentally, you have the capability to reprogram full network to do different things. Gave us huge flexibility. So you look at, the, you're talking about flexibility, the network management Orchestration is a very challenging. That's most of the complexity come from. You see here, uh, we just say uh, the street in the past, it's called the legacy city system. You got the traffic on the two dimension system. But if you go to uh, NFV, you can still get legacy system there and but you need to reprogram with more freely traffic routing and function structuring. And that's a flexibility that gives you multi-mode dimensions you have to manage. That's the complexity come from. So we have the initial effort on the network management system. At the beginning, we try to uh, do a standard interface, a northern bound interface. But it didn't go very far. Then the, the people come into NFV they, with a great hope to get these things resolved. But actually, uh, the complexity is increased exponentially. And we still have got that problem resolved. And uh, now it's zero touch. That's more complexity, more things involved. So we have to realize this nice idea, but not a challenge for the industry. So how can I achieve zero touch? Automation and artificial intelligence. Automation is definitely is important. And we need to realize automation is very different from artificial intelligence. We're talking about automation. It's automatically due because uh, uh, the complexities of an uh, NFV network. That's a beyond human's capability to manage that properly. We try to eliminate errors caused by human beings. That's automation. It's important. Normally, aut automation has a very low tolerance for errors, but AI is still has lot of room to improve. So that's the things we have to realize. But zero touch depends on both automation and AI. We need to understand what's the relationship there. And uh, another thing we need to realize here, and in order to achieve zero touch, Network management, and they uh, can we achieve that without all this like uh, uh, open architecture, open source, and standard interface and interoperability? I think that's the most important thing. The industry has been trying to achieve that very hard, but still not get there yet. 
And we, we're talking about all these concept ideas. It's great. But we need to come back to very practical things we need to achieve for the zero touch and these fundamental things. So we need the industry. We should have a more practical approach and uh, milestones, roadmap, how to achieve that. I think that's something we uh, all we need to work on. So that's part of the, my uh, uh, opening speech.